Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this dinosaur. Crocheted in a ply wool, which is this one. A ply wool is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. The size is 14 centimeters by 16 centimeters or five and a half inches by six and a half inches. Crocheted in four ply crochet cotton, this one. The size is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres or 4 inches by 4 inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton today. I've got a darker green for the main colour and lighter green for the contrast and I've got black and white for the eyes. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. The white is to embroider a small dot on them in the eye. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and I'll be using a 1.25 millimetre crochet hook. Now I'll be starting on the head there so using my main colour, my darker green, I'm going to make a magic loop. For a magic loop or a magic circle I put my hook on the yarn and bring the short end over the hook and then take the longer end over the short end. Put my yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle. And that's my magic loop. Then I start with one chain and work 12 half double crochet into my circle. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop. Put my yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops on the hook. And that's a half double crochet. I need 11 more. Now I have my 12 half double crochet into the circle. Now I pull the circle tight. So I take hold of the tail and just ease it in as tight as I can. And I work a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. So I put my hook into the first stitch, just the, in the top there, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the stitch and through the loop on the hook. And that's a slip stitch. That's my head done. I'm going to work the neck now. So I start with 19 chain. Now I miss the first three chain and work a joined double crochet over the following two stitches. A joined double crochet would be called a joined treble in the UK. For a joined double crochet I put my yarn around the hook and then I put my hook into the fourth chain from the hook. I bring up a loop, yarn around the hook Take my hook and yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take my hook and yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through the remaining loops. Now I work a join double crochet over the next two stitches. So that's just worked the same as the last join double crochet.
Now I work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Then one half double crochet into each of the following five stitches. Then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Now we work a joined half double crochet over our last chain and the next stitch on the head. For a joined half double crochet, we put our yarn around the hook, hook into our last chain and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch on the head and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops. And then we work a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. Then slip stitch into the next stitch. and fasten off. And that's the head and the neck done. I'll just weave in those ends to make it easier for you to see when I'm doing the body. Now for the body we join our cotton at the end of the neck just in the top of the first stitch there and work one chain and work two single crochet into the same stitch as the chain. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet we put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through both the loops. So we need another single crochet in that stitch and then we need two single crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn our work over. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And a double crochet into our last stitch. And we've now got seven stitches. For row three we start with three chain and turn our work. We work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. One 
one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with three chain and turn. We work three double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into each of the following three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one double crochet into the last stitch. And we've now got 10 stitches. For row 5, we start with 3 chain. We work 1 double crochet into each of the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work three single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last four stitches. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a double crochet into each of the last two stitches. And we have 13 stitches. For row 7 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following three stitches.
one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And then work one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row eight, we're starting our decreasing down the back now. We start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet we put a hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we work one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 11 stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 10 stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches 
and we'll have six stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have five stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch and we'll have five stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the dinosaur's body done. We'll start on the tail now, we don't fasten off. We start with 18 chain We work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then we work one single crochet into each of the next five chain. Then work two half double crochet into the following stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And then three half double crochet into the next stitch. This is giving the bend in the tail. And then we work two double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and then one treble into each remaining chain. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, 
hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two more loops, yarn around the hook and hook and yarn through the remaining two loops. So we work a treble into each remaining chain. And then we join our tail to the body with a slip stitch into the top of the body there, just up in here. And that's the body head and tail done. Now we're going to work a neatening row round the body, neck and head and back to here. Um, round the body we're going to work a single crochet into the stitches. Occasionally we're going to need two single crochet. So just find a suitable place to put your hook, not too far from the edge, and work a single crochet. Round the curve at the top of the back, you'll probably need two single crochet into some stitches. I'll work two single crochet into this stitch. And two single crochet into this stitch here. And then I'm going to work a joined single crochet into the last stitch of the body and the first stitch of the neck. And then I'm going to slip stitch around the neck. At times, to help the neck bend the right way, I'll work some joined single crochets. So just at the beginning of the neck I'll work a couple of oh sorry, joined slip stitches. So for a joined slip stitch I bring a loop through the first stitch and a loop through the second stitch and take it straight through the loops on my hook. And then I'll work one slip stitch in the following stitch and then a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches. That will just bring the neck bended in. And then I'll just work some looser slip stitches up to the head.
Now I'll work a joined single crochet in the last stitch of the neck and the first stitch of the head and then I'll work single crochets around the head. I'll work two single crochet into weather every second stitch. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And I'll work a joined single crochet into the last stitch on the, the head and the first on the neck. And then I'll slip stitch down the neck and then work a single crochet around the body to the tail. So I'll continue working around the neatening row and I'll be back when I get near, the, near to the tail. When you get back close to the tail, slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off unless you'd like to neaten the tail I feel the tail doesn't really need neatening and I don't want it to be too thick. I'll just weave in my ends and then I'll be back and we'll crochet on this tummy marking. Now for these tummy markings we're going to crochet them onto the back of the body and then turn them over. So on our wrong side we join our contrast colour five stitches along from the tail on the bottom. Now, I only crochet through this back loop here, so it's the front loop on the back side. So I'll join in there and work one chain. And I work a single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then work a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. I work two half double crochet into the following stitch. one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches two double crochet into the next stitch One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the following stitch. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the stitch before the neck.
and then work a slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And we'll just bend that up over the body and stitch it down. when we're putting it together. So that's all the body done. Now I'll start on the outer eye now. So using my white I make a magic loop and work one chain and work four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. You could use felt if you'd prefer for the eyes. And pass them off. And I've got a small white circle. For the inner eye, using my black, I make a magic loop and I'm going to make a smaller circle. I start with one chain and I work two slip stitch into my circle. I pull the circle tight and I slip stitch in the chain. It's a bit fiddly. And fasten off. And I've got a really tiny circle. Now all four legs I've worked the same. I start with a magic loop and work three chain and work three double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row 2 I start with 3 chain and turn my work and work 1 double crochet into each of the 3 stitches. And for row 3 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 3 stitches. Now I'm going to do a neatening row of slip stitch down around the leg and up to the top and then I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch along the top. The single crochet is just to give it a bit more height. As I crochet it seems to pull in and make a bit smaller so I'll work the row of single crochet along the top to make it just a bit longer.
once I get into the corner stitch I work one chain and then work a single crochet into each stitch along the top. And fasten off. And I'll work three more legs the same. So I'll weave in my ends and I'll work three more legs and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's the pieces. The first things I'll do is embroider a small white dot in the middle of the inner eye and I'll stitch the tummy marking down just along the top. Next we attach the inner eye to the outer eye with the black part even with the top of the white part in like that and we'll attach the two left legs. The flat part goes to the bottom. The back leg goes over the marking so we don't have any of the marking showing at the back and down a bit and the front leg goes even with the back leg along the bottom so about there and the last things we do is attach the eye to the head and the legs in behind the body sticking forward a bit but not as low so probably in about there for the front leg and there for the back leg so I'll attach those and I'll be back to show you the finished dinosaur and there's the finished dinosaur if you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.